Hey all, welcome to another video. Today I thought it would be fun to look at a blast from the past, the Asus EEE PC. I bought this one second hand, just arrived. Let's do the unboxing, have a look at it. These EEE PCs came with a sleeve, as you can see the sleeve is very very old and yeah, honestly uh, not really pleasant, fell apart on the table while I was looking at it, so sleeve ended up in the trash. But after that, looking at the laptop, the laptop is actually a, a, fun, a fun little machine, I would say. These EEE machines were very, very popular in 2007 until 2013, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put it up on the... These PCs were known to be very portable, 10-inch screens. They uh, were honestly really, really thick. Compared to a laptop right now, these are really thick. But then again, back in the day, a laptop like this would last you seven hours of battery life. They would call it a one-day computing, as you can see from the sticker on it. I.O. was quite decent. I actually bought this laptop because I wanted to use it to run Linux on and then afterwards also maybe some firewalling or something like that just because I thought yeah build in UPS seems okay perfect let's go for it the only issue is the the network connection is only 100 Mbit so that's not the nicest to use for something like that the laptop comes with an Intel Atom N270 one gigabytes of DDR2 memory 160 gigabytes hard drive 5400 RPM the 10 inch display only has a resolution of 10 24 times 600 so that's not the nicest but hey at least it's something booting into windows xp really brings back memories i forgot to turn on the sound but hey just edit the startup sound for the ideas right honestly windows xp was really really snappy to work with when we're used to the windows right now and then going back to windows xp on such a small level it just it, you click it immediately works it's super strange to to experience but honestly i really really missed it I honestly think that's also one of the reasons why Windows XP was used for so, so many years. It was just a really good operating system. By now, yeah, by these standards, of course, not anymore because nothing is supported. You can barely use it, but yeah, it's just really, really nice to work with. Back in the day when Windows XP was really big, I was really into two games. Call of Duty, the original version, so Call of Duty 1, and next to that also into Rollercoaster Tycoon. Rollercoaster Tycoon is from 1999 and Call of Duty 1 is from 2004, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, I thought, let's just give it a go, see if it works. Call of Duty honestly turned more into a slideshow, not pleasant to play. Sometimes that was the weird thing. Sometimes I would boot up the machine and it would immediately work good, and other times it was a complete slideshow and unplayable. So, Rollercoaster Tycoon was actually something I played for a really, really long time on this laptop. I completely lost track of it as well. I ended up playing for, I think, I would say one, two hours, built my whole theme park, and really enjoyed it. Really a blast from the past, really enjoyed it. So, yeah, for games like that, this laptop works perfectly. Newer games, no, can't recommend it, of course. And then the newer games like Fortnite, CSGO, and that kind of stuff, it just won't work at all. But hey, at least it's something. The laptop is really yeah, fun to, uh, to have and to work with, I would say. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and a subscribe if you want. And then, uh, yeah, see you at the next video. Next video, we're going to look into another way of building your own NAS. Hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye.